Hi, my name is Katie McGuire and I am a senior nursing student at UMass Amherst and this is my integrated care video. In this video, I will tell the story of an experience I had at work and how it would change the situation now after I've learned so much in my psych clinical rotation. This summer, I worked as a certified nursing assistant in the ER at South Shore Hospital. When I arrived to my shift, I was assigned to the REACT unit, which is mostly for psychiatric patients. Things were going well until a patient that was admitted the night before started causing trouble. The patient was a 30-year-old male who was intoxicated and had been using heroin at the time of his admission. He was sleeping most of the morning, but when he was awake, he was extremely rude and uncooperative. When I would go to take his vitals, he would not even hold his arm up for me to take a blood pressure. He went as far as attempting to throw his vomit onto the nurse I was working with. We were both extremely frustrated and felt so disrespected. This was the first time I had worked with a patient that was behaving like this. The saga continued for the rest of my shift and my frustration led to anger. This patient began to yell and scream from his room and this led to many patients and their families being very upset. He then repeatedly came out of his room and drank water straight out from the nurse's utility sink. After telling him to stop multiple times and him disobeying, security had to come and intervene. I left my ship that day angry, frustrated, and exhausted. I was angry that the patient took my time away from other patients. I was frustrated that I never was able to get through to him, and I was exhausted after dealing with this consistently for 12 hours. During this semester, we had two guest speakers that made me look at this situation from the summer very differently. Also, working with patients on the mental health unit in a more of a therapeutic relationship really made me put the situation into perspective. The first was Dr. Chandler, who taught us that many times drug use is a result of ACEs, or adverse childhood experiences. She stated that maybe these people are using drugs and alcohol as a coping mechanism for the trauma that has happened in their lives. And if that's the case, doesn't that make them resilient and strong? Instead of letting this patient frustrate me and make me angry, shouldn't I have shown compassion and empathy for what he has gone through in his life? The article I found was titled Childhood, Childhood Abuse, Neglect, and Household Dysfunction and the Risk of Illicit Drug Use, the Adverse Childhood Experiences Study. In this study, 8,613 adults who attended a primary care in California took a survey which asked them questions about child, child abuse, neglect, household dysfunction, drug use, and other health problems they are experiencing or have experienced in their life. The results of the study showed that those with high ACEs were highly correlated to those with a lot of drug use. So the article stated that in order to tackle America's drug problem, we need to really start with the source, and that's working with children and in their dysfunctional households to stop drug use from even occurring. Because if they are not are experiencing trauma, then they won't have this, these problems later in their life. The second speaker who really opened my eyes was Kim Dion in her case study on interviewing IV drug users and asking them about their relationship with nurses during their hospital stays. She found that many patients felt extremely mistreated by nursing staff, leading them to retreat and not want to come to the hospital. At this point in the semester, from working on the mental health unit and listening to lectures, I truly understood that addiction is a disease and relapse is part of it. I was horrified and embarrassed because I felt like I may have been treating my patient from the story the same way as these nurses. I now know and have so much of an understanding for these patients. My goal is to be an ER nurse, and I would never want to treat a patient that way. I think as new nurses, it is important to have our own values and beliefs we follow, and not just to react the way of the people around us. That day this summer, I definitely was letting the nurse's negative opinion of the patient shape mine, and in the future, I will not let that happen. Thank you for watching my integrated care video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Attached there is the citation for the research article used.